Hey, what's going on? It's Dan Liu. In this video, I want to show you how to create a countdown timer inside of ClickFunnels. So here's a sample page that we're going to work with. So you can see right here that there is a countdown timer and there's two to choose from. So let's add a, uh, let's go ahead and add another element here. So if you type in timer, you'll see two options, a minute timer and a day timer. So let's start with a minute timer. And that's actually what I have here. But let's go into the settings. And you can see here what your options are. So you can set a timer for a certain number of hours, minutes and seconds. And here you can set what the action is going to be once that timer runs out. So when the timer runs out, you can have uh, the page redirected to another URL, or you can show and hide elements. So this one's fairly uh, self-explanatory. All you do is put in uh, a different URL that you want someone to go to if this timer hits zero, but let's go to show and hide elements. So right here, if the clock hits zero, you can hide or show elements and you can choose which ones here. So where would this work and what would you show and hide? So um, a couple options or an option could be if you have, let's say, a button that shows up. Um, if somebody is still within the timer uh, or the timer hasn't run out yet, then that button leads to one page, you know, maybe one sales page. And then once the timer runs out, that button might disappear. And then another one will show up and that one is going to lead to maybe a separate sales page that has a different offer. All right, so that's just a quick example of um, how you can use a hide and show for the uh, expire action. And then you'll also get to uh, set the option for revisit action, and that basically just means when somebody refreshes the page or they come back to the page, what's gonna happen. So you can have it set to auto reset the timer, you can auto expire uh, the page for X number of days, or you can hide the timer and show a different section or row. All right, so lots of options here. So it's really a matter of what you think uh, or what you want to have happen when the timer expires. Um, and you have, like I said, a lot of options to, to try to make that work. Um, you might have to get a little bit creative in terms of how to set things up, but uh, it should be fairly self-explanatory. And here you have just different options for themes uh, just to make your timer really stand out so people don't miss it. If you go to advanced, you can change the size. So if you really want to make it visible, change the alignment, the label, and the weight. All right, so that is for the minute timer. So let's go ahead and add in a day timer. So again, I'm going to just type in So if we go to our settings, so this is a daily countdown. So you can choose a time that ends for today, the time zone that it's going to be applicable to. And same thing. So you, when the timer hits zero or when it hits that certain time of the day that you set, what action is going to happen? So you can redirect to a URL or once again, you can show and hide elements. And then also the same thing with the revisit action. Do you want the page or the timer just to reset itself when somebody refreshes the page or leaves and comes back? Or do you want the page to expire or perhaps show uh, something else? All right now, I don't really recommend reset timer for either of the uh, timers because that kind of defeats the purpose. If somebody can just refresh the page, um, then there's real no urgency. Um, it's just fake urgency. So you really want to make it so that it's real. Um, and then also note on your page that if somebody were to exit or they hit the refresh button that the page is, you know, or the offer is no longer available. All right. So that is in the case that you actually um, set it so that it doesn't just auto reset, right? If it just auto resets and somebody refreshes the page and you're, you're giving this, you're going to lose trust because, uh, you know, you're, you're not telling the truth there. Right. So make sure you only include this if you're actually not using an auto reset timer. So once again, I highly 
recommend against that. Kind of defeats the purpose of using any sort of timer. Um, if somebody accidentally comes to it and they realize that, oh, you know, all I have to do is reset. There's no real sense of urgency or scarcity. Then what's the point? And it's really not going to help you in terms of uh, getting people to take action. All right, so those are the two different timers you can use uh, within ClickFunnels. Hopefully this video helps and uh, helps you get better results with your funnels. If there's any other videos that you'd like to see, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video.